Hey, what's going on out there? I would like to welcome every single one of you to Water Your Soil. So before I get into this video, I would like to say if you're new here, I have two rules over at this channel. The first rule is for you to always use your own discretion when it comes to credit cards and your credit score. The second rule is for you to always verify whatever it is you learn, whether it's on this channel, another channel or anywhere. That should be a rule to life. Now, getting into the video, this video is going to be about why you're not receiving a credit limit increase, because that's like a big topic. I get comments on it on older videos, which is why I decided to make this video. And some people are wondering why they're not getting credit limit increases on their credit cards. So I'm going to talk a little bit about it in this video. But before I get into the video, I want to touch on something. And some of you, you may want to fast forward, but I think it's imperative that every single one of you listen to what I'm about to say. Now, when it comes to YouTube and content creation, I think content creation could be a little misunderstood. When it comes to these videos that I put out, it's obvious that you may not relate to some of the videos that I put out. Some of it can be like for credit card help for beginners. Some of it could be for how to increase your credit score, things like that. Even though you may not relate to the video, if you're subscribed to this channel and you support this channel, you can still leave a like on the video. That way it gets circulated by the algorithm. You also can feel free to share the video because even though you may not relate to the video and the topic at hand, someone else that you know may. And that's the main thing that I'm concerned with. I'm concerned with paying it forward. So even though you may not relate to the video, you can still leave a like, you can still maybe even comment and you could pay it forward because people, you could tell they're more informed when it comes to a certain video and I'm informed as well, or else I wouldn't be on here talking to you all, but I have to make videos for people who are new to credit cards and who are new to credit scoring. So while you may not relate and you may be more savvy, some of the people who are watching are not. So I have to break it down in their terms. But I just wanted to state that because I think a lot of people get it confused and they don't really understand that concept. They like to come by and think that these videos are all about them and specifically for them. And they want you to get to the point within the first 30 seconds. And that would be kind of pointless because if you're going to do that, you might as well just make shorts and not long form videos. But I wanted to address that because as I stated, Everyone watching these videos is not savvy when it comes to credit cards and credit scores. So getting into the video, when you think of credit limit increases, that's like one of the main search things when it comes to credit cards. Everyone wants to find out how to make their credit limit bigger. Now, whether it's out of necessity or whether it's out of ego, whichever reason it may be, people love to receive credit limit increases. And I can't lie, I would be a hypocrite if I said that I don't get excited for seeing the credit limit increase as well. I'm sure there are a majority of people who like to receive credit limit increases, but everyone does not qualify for credit limit increases. And I think some people don't understand why they may not qualify for a credit limit increase. Now, credit limit increases could come down to multiple things. Usually is based on number one, your income. Number two, your credit report. Number three, the amount of spending that you're doing. And number four, how trustworthy you are to the bank that you're seeking to receive a credit limit increase from. And sometimes income gets lost in that. I receive comments and people say, hey, I have an 800 credit score. I watched my utilization. My credit report looks clean, but I'm not receiving a credit limit increase from these banks. And it could be multiple things. Maybe you're not spending enough because they like to see that you're going to spend in order to provoke them to give you a credit limit increase. But a great deal of the reason comes down to income. These banks, they like to see that you at least have the income to back up you receiving a credit limit increase. And you have to look at it from a rational standpoint, because technically, if you give someone a large credit limit and they don't have the income to pay off whatever it is that they're purchasing with their credit card, then chances of them paying you back and paying you back in a timely fashion is probably going to be less than great. There's a chance that that risk is going to be high. So banks, they're really not trying to take that type of risk. So they're not going to give you a credit limit in those situations. Now, granted, some of them will, but for the most part, 
they're not going to do that. So one of the main things people should focus on if they're interested in receiving a credit limit increase on their credit card is increasing their income. And I know some of you, you don't like to hear that. You don't want to hear that. Oh, tell us the easy way. Tell us the shortcut way. Tell us the crooked way. Tell us the way that we could just get by, do it the easy way, and things will work out in our favor. And I'm not going to do that. The honest and truthful way would be to increase your income, whether that's picking up another job, starting a business, getting a pay raise, whatever it may be, increasing your income will increase your chances of receiving a credit limit increase. And this is why banks, they oftentimes ask you to update your account information, especially with your income. They want to know if you received a raise or you got a new job where you make more money because that can play a part in you receiving a credit limit increase. And number two, what you want to do is you also have to show them that you are a spender. And for a lot of people, this is an unfortunate circumstance because spending more means that they'll be in more credit card debt. And you know, I'm not an advocate of credit card debt. So it all depends on the person. This case by case, as I always tell people to use their own discretion, don't get yourself in a situation that you can't get yourself out of. But those are pretty much the two things that you want to focus on. Of course, the rest of your credit report has to be solid. You have to be paying your bills on time because they're going to be looking at your credit report. But for the most part, outside of your report and your score, they're going to be looking at your income and looking at how much money you spend. Because being truthfully honest, in the times where I have an 800 credit score, my credit report is clean. I pay on time. My income looks good. All of those things could be lining up. But if I'm not doing heavy spending, I'm pretty much not provoking them to give me a credit limit increase. Now, I could always ask for one and receive a hard inquiry. But for the most part, as far as them doing it on their own, they're not really going to do it because I'm not really doing heavy spending. Now, to those of you that do heavy spending and you're wondering why it's not working out for you and why you're not receiving credit limit increases, look into one of those reasons. And it's mainly going back to income. Now, what if you have the income and you are doing the spending and then you're still not receiving the credit limit increase? The banks, they'll be honest with you and transparent. They'll let you know what the reason is. Either you've been applying for too much credit lately or your credit report looks a little shaky or you haven't had the credit limit that you currently have for long enough. It's always going to be a reason that they're going to tell you. And they usually don't hold back from telling you why they rejected you for a credit limit increase. But I appreciate every single one of you for stopping by. If you're new here and you feel in the vibe, this is Water Your Soil. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications. That way you don't miss a future video. And this goes to every single one of you watching. Like I stated in the beginning of the video, be sure to hit the like button. That's your way of supporting this video. It's also your way of supporting this channel. I really appreciate every single one of you for stopping by and watching this video. This is Water Your Soil, and I'm out. Wait, 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 wait. Before you leave, be sure to check out the description box below. That way you can have all the credit resources from Water Your Soil. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button as well, all right? In the description box below, I always tell people, check out the description box below for extra resources from Water Your Soil. Part of the description box also showcases my book that I have. I have a book, it's been out for a while now, it's been out for years. It's titled, Strategies to Master Credit. The book is available, it's on Amazon, it's on Barnes & Noble, most online bookstores have the book. And the book is basically about how FICO credit scoring works. Once you understand how FICO credit scoring works, you're pretty much on your way to helping yourself build, develop, and maintain a good credit score. So check the book out whenever you get a chance.